Welcome to Age Fit MD with Dr. Zars, a no nonsense age with power podcast. Flip your chronic injury script with Dr. Z. Welcome to the Age Fit MD podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Z. And if you have ever been interested in the free radical theory of aging, then this is the episode you want to listen to. And let's get started. So many people ask me, what is the cause of aging? And there's a lot of theories out there about specifically what causes it. There's a lot of reasons, but I think one of the most accepted ones is the free radical theory of aging. And free radicals are energized molecules that are either the natural product of metabolism or we get them from outside sources like radiation, pollution, smoking, etc. And these molecules are unique in that they have uh, unstable electrons. And we'll just leave it at that without getting into the physics of it. But basically, these, <clears throat> these molecules need to be stabilized. And the way they stabilize themselves is they steal an electron from another molecule to basically make themselves stable, to convert themselves from a free radical to a non-radicalized molecule. And in our bodies, we make free radicals as a natural side effect of metabolism. And when we're younger, we have a very robust antioxidant system that is very capable at neutralizing these molecules. As we age, we tend to lose some of that antioxidant ca capacity. And what happens is these free radicals are allowed to bounce around inside of our cells and they cause cell cellular damage. And the most worrisome damage that can happen is to DNA. And if you injure DNA enough, you're prone to things like cancer. So it's in our best interest to try to control free radicals. So the first thing we can do is try to prevent them from outside sources. And so we want to avoid radiation. We want to avoid um, smoking. We want to avoid uh, pollutants in our bodies. But what we can avoid is regular metabolism. And this is a natural phenomenon that we have to deal with. Well. A great thing about uh, nutrition is that we can supplement ourselves with antioxidants like vitamin C, uh, resveratrol, uh, there's natural antioxidants in our foods, there's antioxidants in superfoods, and basically these outside sources we ingest and they act to neutralize those free radicals. But once those molecules are used for neutralization, they have to be taken again. So this is why I'm really passionate about encouraging people to take supplements and to take antioxidants and to eat as nutritiously as you can, because by taking these outside sources of antioxidants, we can help neutralize some of the damage that these free radicals are causing. And it has to be done continuously since we use them. So this is, uh, this is pretty important, and that's why we want to really focus on our nutrition we really want to focus on supplementation and anything we can do to minimize the amount of free radicals in our system is going to be significantly beneficial to us over the long run. And when you combine this with regular exercise, uh, cardiovascular exercise and resistance exercise, this is the best way to combat aging. So uh, this is just going to be a real brief overview of it. We're not going to get super deep into it. If you want more detailed discussions on this in the future, I can put together something, but what we're really, really trying to do with this podcast is to just get people to take action every single day to be consistent. And those consistent actions will build up over time and will lead to significant advances and, and significantly reduce the chances of getting, of suffering from advanced aging. So some podcasts spend hours at a time trying to, you know, dive deep and get you to, uh, engage in some of these changes in your life. And what we're really trying to do is just get you to you know, say, hey, this is easy. This is a small thing to do. And you can really be successful uh, and consistent by making these small changes. So that's a brief discussion on the free radical theory of aging. That's, uh, I hope I highlighted for you the importance of, of antioxidants. And in the future episodes, I'm going to go into specifically which ones I recommend and why. And then you'll have a more detailed knowledge on, on why you're doing it and, and how you can strategize your own uh, program. So hope you enjoyed that conversation. 
Uh, stay tuned. We got some more good content coming up to help keep you aging fit and healthy in the long run. Have a great day. For more information about AgeFit MD, ImmuneX2, or Dr. Z's training, please visit drzars.com for a full line of supplements and educational tools to help you age with power.